What? We're really sorry. Yes, really. What the hell are you talking about? It's just, it's over. The three of you are breaking up with me? And on the subway? We're going different directions. Uh, we're all going downtown. You know what we mean. No. No, I don't. I mean, first of all, we're friends. It's not like I'm dating any of you. So how can you break up with me? Friends drift apart. It happens all the time. Yeah, friends drift apart, but they generally don't announce that they never want to see you again. Sometimes they do, like if they have a big fight. But we haven't had any fights. This is crazy. Look, we know this is hard on you. It's hard on us too. None of us wanted this to happen. So why is it happening? And why are you telling me on the train? Because we didn't want this to be some long drawn out thing. Yeah, you know, dragging on over weeks and weeks. This way it's over quickly, by the time we get to West 4th Street. <laughs> why West 4th? We're having dinner in the village. And I'm not invited? Haven't you been listening? Hey, now honey, take it easy on her. We knew this was gonna be hard, but we said we wouldn't get angry. Oh, shut up! Amber. Well, you try and stay calm when you're pregnant and you've got 60 gallons of hormones running through your body. Guys, we're getting a little sidetracked here. And Amber, I really think you should be sitting down. Oh. Thank you, Terry. You're such a good friend. I just know John and I made the right choice. Hey, I'm a good friend. Uh, Amber, when you lost your job last year, who was on the phone with you for like hours every day? Hey, Natalie, it's not a question of you being a good friend or not. This was a hard decision, and we went back and forth, agonized over it. Look, it's not you, it's us. I don't understand. Uh, Amber, we've been friends forever. I was your maid of honor. I know, I know. It's heartbreaking. What was that last stop? 42nd Street. Oh, good, just a few more stops. No! Tell me why you're doing this! Natalie, you're an amazingly wonderful person. Really, but we want different things. The three of you. We just feel like you're out there pursuing your options, focused on your career. We're in a different phase of our lives. Well, you and Amber are, but where does she fit in? Don't make this about Terry. This is about all of us. Yeah, and it's not your fault. You didn't do anything. I must have done something if you don't want to see me anymore. No, no, look, things change. Maybe some people are just meant to spend a certain amount of time in each other's lives and then they move on. That's just natural. That's such bullshit. No, she's right. People come in and out of each other's lives all the time. Are we only at 34? Stop counting the stop! Don't fight it, it'll all be over soon. Oh, yeah? Well, you can't dump me if I stop the train and we never get there! Don't take this so hard. You'll find other friends. Yeah, you're young. You'll have lots of friends. But why? <laughs> what would I do? I don't understand. Why? Because you're boring! <laughs> what? You're boring! All you ever want to do is go to the same restaurants and the same cafes. We've eaten Moroccan restaurant you always wanted to try? It's 
not about where we eat. Then where are you going? Don't. Where? We're going to the Moroccan place, okay? Are you happy now? <laughs> Have you come here before? Yeah, a couple of times. Oh my god! Why? Why? I want to try Moroccan food! It's spicy, you know you can't taste spicy food! Yeah, well, you have lousy table manners! What? You talk with your mouth full! You splash and put your elbows on the table! Keep me! Oh my god! Please don't make this any harder than it is. Don't cry. We just need to make a change. <laughs> With the baby on the way, we only have room in our lives for one close friend. But why her? <laughs> Do I have to repeat the whole, your boring speech? <laughs> but I'm not boring! <laughs> Natalie, what did you do last Saturday night? I ordered a Chinese food and rented a movie. What movie? <sighs> Sleepless in Seattle. And the Saturday before that? And Harry met Sally. See? <laughs> but... I can be different. I can change. I'll oh, watch whatever movies you want. We don't want you to change. We want you to be yourself and be happy. And we hope you'll do the same for us. Yeah? Well, I don't. I hope you effing choke on the Moroccan food! Where are you going? There's only 14th Street. I'm not running this train a second longer if I'm not wanted. That was unpleasant. How did you expect her to take it? I thought she'd have a little more grace. You know, I don't think my stomach's up for Moroccan food anymore. No? No. Would you mind if we just went home and ordered some Chinese? Of course, of course. Whatever you want, sweetie. Wait, I thought we were going out. I know, but with the baby and all. You understand, right? Well, I was really looking forward to going out. I mean, I could have had a date tonight. You're sorry? Another night. Next weekend. Well, I guess I don't have any other choice. Thanks a lot, guys. Natalie would have understood. Yeah. I miss her. <laughs> <laughs>